We are the Museum of the Mind. We are fascinated by the artwork between your ears because nothing is as diverse, fascinating, and at the same time as vulnerable as the human mind. Anyone who has had a bad night's sleep can tell you how thin the line is between feeling normal and feeling different. Our history started more than 700 years ago in the dollhouse of Harlem. For years, the dollhouse was home to people suffering from leprosy and the plague. Later, the building was host to the insane who needed to be kept out of the city. Of course, back then, physical and mental help looked nothing like it does now. The dark isolation cell and the tranquilizing chair are shocking by today's standards. Our commitment now is still to mental well-being, but as a museum, we do it in a different way. In 2005, we opened the doors to the public. We reopened after a major renovation to the historic building and a big change in presentation in the fall of 2020. Almost the entire public space has been refurbished. Now, the walls that once excluded people from society voice strong messages of inclusion. We are proud that we have been working with many volunteers since our opening in 2005, with and without mental illness. You will find them everywhere. Almost 100 volunteers are currently working there. They are an indispensable strength of our museum. In the permanent exhibition, we lead our visitors through the building by posing six big life questions related to the mind. What is your mind? Who are you? Who do you cherish? Who do you see? Who takes care of your mind? Can you speak your mind? With the multimedia guide, you can get into the deeper layers of the exhibition. Spoken from the perspective of the monumental building, we tell the story of the past seven centuries while showing you art, historical and scientific artifacts, and asking you to engage with the posed questions. What's normal and what is weird? Should we as humans change or should we change our ideas of weird and normal? Belonging and participating, regardless of how you feel, look, or behave, is essential to our mental health. So that message runs through our program. Through art and culture, we show the inner world to the outside world, so that we feel connected to each other. We surprise you, amaze you, and want you to think about the standards, values, and expectations that you impose on yourself, which are imposed on you, and which you impose on others. We believe that an open mind is a healthy mind that offers space for everything that lives in ourselves and in others. How we think, how we behave, how we believe and how we love. We are committed to inclusiveness and a world without exclusion and stigmatization. We make mental health a topic of discussion with our art and cultural programs, even for people who might think they are normal. Hello, I'm Hans Loyen. I'm the director of the Museum of the Mind. And we are here in the last room of the permanent exhibition. And this is about the Universal Declaration of the Open Mind. This is the essence of our museum as we strive not only to, for people to open up here in the museum, but in society at large, where the work should happen. In our declaration, we embrace statements like, I embrace every mind. Um, I'm against exclusion and stigma, of course, you should almost say. We invite all partners and visitors to co-sign this declaration, which can be posted here. And many people have done so. So this is what we are about, because we strive for a society where each and everyone can be heard and is of equal value.